Hi, Kitty Wing crew. Today we're talking about hexagons and pentagons. And if you recall, Mia played soccer in both Boston and Hastings, and it was called soccer in Boston and football in Hastings. And we talked about how a soccer ball has both pentagons and hexagons in it. So first let's read the directions. Mia's soccer team in Boston had yellow jerseys and her football team in Hastings had green jerseys. Soccer balls are made up of hexagons and pentagons. Can you color all the hexagons yellow? Okay, so hexagons yellow, that's important. And all the pentagons green. Okay, that's important. All other shapes can be blank or any other color. Okay, and then here's an example. They're showing that this one right here would be green because that's a pentagon. And then this one would also be green. And what makes it a pentagon is because it's a five-sided polygon. One, two, three, four, five. Let's check this one. One, two, three, four, five. And then below, these shapes are hexagons because they have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So even though they look a little different because they have six sides, they're both hexagons. So now here in this big pattern, that's almost like a blown up version, blown up and flattened version of a soccer ball, we get to think about drawing in all of the six-sided shapes, yellow, and all of the pentagons, all of the five-sided shapes, green. So this feels almost like a trick. These are like, if you look so closely at them, these ones look like they should be hexagons because this does really look like a soccer ball. But let's check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They actually have seven sides. So in this whole entire section, you don't have a single hexagon. So all you're gonna do in this one is find one, two, three, four, five, all of these pentagons. So you're actually gonna have a lot that are either blank or they're a different color if you decide to, to do another color. Okay, so feel free to pause it again if you want here and I'll show you the completed um, in a second. And then down below, we'll see, maybe there will finally be a true hexagon below. Enjoy doing it. Okay, so your completed work might look similar to this, although perhaps you made it more colorful. You might have done something um, with all the rest of these that are not hexagons. They're actually heptagons because there's seven sides. It's so tricky though. So if you colored those in yellow thinking they had six sides, I totally get it. It looks a lot like what a soccer ball would look like. So it looks like they should be hexagons, but they can be a different color. And then down here, um, or blank, down here we have three hexagons with six sides and one pentagon with five sides. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Come back for another one.